top of the morning top of the morning guys it's early bright and early in the morning it's about seven o'clock and this is my last day sadly unfortunately here in bangkok and here are my bags packed and ready i'm just waiting for my taxi to come so that i can go to the airport yeah but man i love this country so much i feel so sad to leave but i this is for sure one country i know i will be back for sure for sure and i'll be back for even longer so anyways yeah let's uh, go back home i'm going to stockholm uh, through zurich in switzerland okay so let's go this journey and enjoy this way home bye bye bangkok bye bye thailand love you so much So guys, I just made it through border control, passport control, visa control, no visa control. Anyway, I'm in the beautiful airport here in uh, in Bangkok, in Thailand. It's time to head back home, man. I'm so sad to leave Thailand, you know. I really, really love this country. But, you know, there's always the next time. We'll always come back. And now, let me show you how this beautiful airport looks like. Very, very nice. Wow, look. I, just when you come out from uh, the passport control here in uh, customs, Immediately you are greeted with this beauty. <coughs> so excuse me. Mm. This beauty over here, you know. Wow. Like the Thai people are really majestic, you know. I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's like some three-headed dragon. As you can see, it has three heads there. And then there's like warriors pulling it on one side and others on the other side. And there's uh something here with four hands a demigod and it says do not search but people come here and take their photos and enjoy and of course they have like flowers some water here just to you know oh there's a donation box here i think it has to do something with buddhist religion you know yeah very very good introduction to the airport and look at the screen behind here wow She's trying to catch the butterfly. Uh, the butterfly disappeared. <laughs> very, very nice movable screen. Oh, the moon is there, disappearing. Wow. And here's the Gucci store. Gucci store, original. So if you need some Gucci stuff, oh, kiss it, kiss it. <laughs> okay, guys, so let me look where my flight is. Uh, I'm departing to Switzerland, Switzerland. Why is Switzerland? 12.25. I'm supposed to be flying out. Okay, so there is my gate and uh, I have good enough time so I can just go on and enjoy this airport while uh, I wait for my flight to depart. So, wish my world top of the morning. Exit from this beautiful country. So let's go and enjoy. You know, they have Louis Vuitton there. They have uh, Bugatti. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, and this is like Dior, Panerai, time zone for people who love watches. Man, I'm so glad I don't like these things, you know. Like, they, I have no problem with people who like them, but for me, I'm so glad that I have no stress. I'm a simple man in a simple world. <laughs> yeah, people can just enjoy their brands and everything. They just keep it simple and mind my own business. Yeah, anyways, if you want fancy, fancy stuff, brands, high-end brands, you know, can't even pronounce some of these names, apart from like Gucci, then you know where to go. This is the place. Otherwise, yeah, let's go and look for our boarding gate and wait for the takeoff. Heading to Zurich in Switzerland, the most expensive country I have ever been through. Wow, coming from the cheapest country to the most expensive. So, in case I want to buy anything, I better do it here. And here we are in duty free perfumes and cosmetics and chocolate and other stuff. All right, guys, see you later. Yo, guys, <coughs> it's time to board the flight.
from uh, Bangkok Airport directly to Europe to Zurich in Switzerland. Uh, it's a full fight, I think. It's a lot of people living in uh, Thailand. So, yeah, see you guys maybe in the flight and uh, as we continue with this journey going back to Europe. Yeah, man, it's been so real. The weather is so nice. I already have my jacket on because it's probably about to get more colder in Europe, you know. But anyway, see you inside. So guys, it's been a long, long flight. It's been eight good hours of flight, you know. And now I'm finally in Zurich, here in Switzerland. And I'm going to be doing my connecting flight from Zurich all the way to Stockholm. Yeah, and the weather is nice. It's about seven o'clock now and it's bright outside. So that means the summer is on the way. Yeah, that's what I love. Okay, I need to find out where I'm going. But yeah, the summer is on the way. The summer is upon us. And I'm glad I came back home when it's not too cold. Because you know, I came from the warp. <laughs> okay, let me go and transit and then I'll see you guys in the next place. So guys, look at this train. How it does in this airport in Zoom. You should see the beauty of the Seven hours later. Zurich. <coughs> Sleeping in Zurich tonight, man. In the airport hotel. Shit happens. Top of the morning. Dish my well. The next day so guys good morning man uh, I just woke up now uh, I'm about to go and leave this uh, small little uh, overnight transit hotel here in Zurich Zurich in Switzerland man it's been a crazy night you know it's been a crazy night I got denied entry into the Schengen region I couldn't come in because of some problems I'll be telling you about yeah but let me show you where i slept man <laughs> so this is the crib that i slept this was my bed here 25 so basically it's just a small bed with some beddings you know small small stuff yeah but the good thing is i was alone there's supposed to be many different cribs here and there you see different different yeah so this is where i slept at the last one here and this place is so expensive you know just to sleep in this place i paid 65 francs so you can imagine that's about 750 krona i don't know yeah i'll do the conversions man and i'll put for you crazy night let me just go and uh, refresh brush my teeth then i leave this place then i'll keep you guys updated i'll tell you what exactly happened ah traveling comes with its own adventures i won't even lie it's you have to be very strong to be a traveler very very strong so guys you see this is my bed now it's a bit brighter and the curtains are open and this is the airport i literally spent night in this airport hotel here see that's the the runway you can even see a plane somewhere in the horizon there yeah this is where I slept, and this is probably where I'm going to be boarding my flight back. Yeah, a crazy, crazy, crazy journey, crazy journey. Today, uh, I'm supposed to be in my home, sleeping, enjoying, you know. But I am still in Zurich, Switzerland, in this uh, hotel. But now everything is good. I'm going to go and board my flight. So at least I just wanted to show you a small tour of this transit hotel thing that I had. See, it's many blocks, different. This is where I slept. And there was no other person here, so I was basically all alone. Yeah, but this place cost me 65, you know, Swiss francs. It's not cheap, man. It's not cheap. 
and it's only a few hours sleep you know <laughs> uh, anyways let me tell you guys a story soon oh so guys <clears throat> so this is what happened man so i boarded as you guys saw from uh, bangkok the beautiful airport and it was a smooth journey and i came and i arrived in uh, in europe in zurich the airport in zurich which is in switzerland now uh, as soon as i got off the train you know they, they have that transit train then you go to the Ongate, which is taking you to the next you know flight so that i go from zurich switzerland to stockholm sweden then when i arrived there i went through passport control you know i was going through passport control remember this is about eight o'clock and my flight was at nine five past nine okay so i had only one hour five minutes window so I went to the border control and I give them my documents, my passport, my residence card, everything, you know, just that I travel a lot and I'm always going out in, out in, out in, never had a problem before. But in Zurich, this guy looks at, takes my resident card, puts it in the machine, mm, takes a while, makes a phone call again, looks at it, makes a phone call. He tells me, please step to the side. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, I've never seen this before, you know? So I stepped to the side and then he serves the people behind me and then everybody served while I'm still waiting. And then I'm thinking, oh, time conscious, you know, but I still have some time. I mean, I'm in the airport. So then he makes another phone call and uh, he's speaking like Dutch. Uh, so I don't really understand what he's saying. Then uh, he calls another female officer. <clears throat> so this female officer comes and she calls me in the backside. And uh, yeah, she tells me, uh, you need to come with me. And I'm like, what the hell is happening? Okay, so I followed with her, you know. I just started going with her and I asked her, what's the problem? And she's like, hey, I'm sorry, but your residence card has been reported stolen. So we want to establish if it's really you who owns this card or not. Because it's somebody reported it stolen. The owner of the card reported it stolen. And I'm like, what? But how I haven't reported it stolen. This is my card. This is everything. This is me in the photo. Everything is like, yeah, but this number here, it says it's been reported stolen. So, man, I start getting like stressed out because you know now time is going and my flight to Stockholm is coming soon. So this lady, she does her thing. Then it, she doesn't have any solutions. Then she takes me to yet another office in the police station in the airport. So now I have to sit there. Mm, I'm not allowed to leave that place. I've been holding. Uh, I haven't, remember I haven't eaten anything since I left Bangkok. That's been eight hours ago. Like in the flight, I woke up at seven to start with, seven in the morning to f get to the airport at least three hours in advance, then flew for uh, eight hours. And remember Bangkok is ahead of time. So now it's eight in the night, which means it, my body is five hours ahead. So that's like nine, 10, 11, 12, it's one. My body is calculating it as 1 a.m. Then I sit there and now it's 8, 8.30, 8.40 and I'm telling them, yo, my flight is leaving in 15 minutes. You guys need to let me in, you know. So they're like, I'm sorry, but we need to contact the police in Sweden so that we can guarantee and confirm that actually your resident card isn't stolen. So I'm, I'm like just waiting and I'm like, they're like, okay, you know, we, if you miss your flight, you miss it, but we can't just let you in. So I'm denied entry, man. I'm dead. And I wait. And then now it's 9, 9 I see my boarding ticket is saying like final call. You know, you have to board. But then I'm like, I can't go anywhere. So I miss my flight just like that. Then I'm like, ah, oh, whatever. Now I just like relax because now I don't even have any pressure because I already missed the flight. Man, I wait 9, 10, 11. Then the officer finally comes and says they got an answer from Sweden that apparently because it was so late, the police or immigration in Sweden had closed down and so I had to wait uh, until the next day but at least they answered me so then I asked the guy okay so what's happening uh, do I have to book a new flight or what they said okay we'll fix you a new flight thank god because I checked and the flights were super expensive but they said you have to cater for your own accommodation so that's when they took me to this transit hotel and I paid the 65 franc yeah but basically that's what happened I got denied boarding I missed my flight. I had to stay all this time. All, no shops were open, nothing. So I had to sleep hungry and it was such a frustrating thing. Yeah, until now I went back to the normal place. I went again through border passport control and it went well. And now the video continues from here in the airport. Oh, guys, finally, finally, I made it. I'm in Stockholm, Alanda. Yeah, it was a nice, cool flight. It went okay. Everything was good. I'm very 
you know, late. I was supposed to arrive last night, but it's okay. Yeah, so finally I made it. I'm in Stockholm and the weather is nice actually. It's not even cold at all. It's like 13 degrees outside. So I'm really grateful for that. So I'm rushing to get my bus that will take me all the way home. So yeah, welcome to Stockholm, Sweden, man. And I'm gonna be here for a few days, but then I again have to leave to my next destination. And hopefully the visa situation, the visa card will be sorted and I won't have as much problems as I had right now. I'm gonna go to the police and just make sure everything is sorted out. Anyways, thanks for joining me in this trip from all the way, you know, India, Thailand, all the way back here. And uh, see you guys in the next one. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Keep watching and supporting the channel, supporting African YouTubers as we travel the world and just show you the different sides that we have through our challenges, ups and downs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe and share. Top of the morning, Kishma World. Let's do this.